Oh my God, how are you? This is why, this is like overly deserved. You have been working in the theater for uh, how many years now? 2006 you started on Broadway? Yeah, 2000 and 2005 was my first Broadway show, which was in my life. Uh, oh God! Yeah, yeah. That's I remember that. Yeah. Did yeah. you understudy that was Chris Hankey? Years ago, I did. Yes, I sure did. Oh boy, that was a show. It was. <laughs> <laughs> this is a different experience. Yes, yes. How does it feel looking at this? Looking back at all the shows you've done, all the work you've done, and I know how much you, the theater and the Tony Awards were vital to you growing up. Yes. And you look down and see this. What does that feel like? It's it's completely surreal. It's so funny because like the. The Tony Awards, as a kid, I used to just... I never really focused on the speeches, but I would watch the performances, and they were, like, my window into New York yeah. and into the shows and the creativity and the artistry that was here. And so it's amazing to be holding the award. Yeah. And it's also amazing to just sit in the audience and watch the incredible work yeah. by everybody in this city. And this season of all seasons where it was just filled with new work and, and classics, uh, it had to have been an exciting thing to be a part of this season. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like we also, this season having so many new original musicals was so exciting, but that we got to bring with our revival of Merrily this show that didn't get its due back in 1981. You know, it's a it's a masterwork, it's a masterpiece. And so to be amongst all of these new shows and to be honoring this show that was new and fresh and original but didn't quite get to have its full version of expression, it's so cool to be doing that. It seems like they finally got it right. <laughs>